Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 9th of November 2023. I hope you are keeping well. If you hear me slurping throughout today's video, it's because I have a cup of coffee at the ready to um, keep me going for this morning's video of uh, the hard level Sudoku puzzle presented by The Guardian. First of the week, uh, hard level on Thursdays and Fridays. If you're new to the channel, that is, you're not sure. Um, what's going on? Um, if you can imagine an even more insane version of Trump than Trump, it has to be Javier Millet, current uh, um, runner for the president in Argentina. I mean, this man is absolutely insane. Uh, he's an extreme, extreme right winger. He says that capitalism is God's own policy <laughs> and that the state was invented by the devil. Um, but if you don't believe that I'm the only person who's critical, uh, maybe you would take the word of Thomas Piketty and J.R.T. Gosh, those noted economists are currently trying to warn the Argentinians, if you vote for this man, your country will be in much, much worse trouble than it's already in. It's already not doing very well, which is why people are disaffected, of course. Um, and uh, if, the, if you vote for him, Millet, uh, it's going to be much, much worse. So uh, let's hope people do heed that call. We, we have enough right-wing lunatics around the world at the moment. There are lots of them. Um, Trump is a kind of forerunner and he's had lots of mini Trumps all around. Um, it's really dangerous for the, the whole world, the whole globe. Um, we need to have far fewer of these lunatics in power. Um, what's going on in America? Oh yeah, uh, my prediction came true. I said that I expected Ivanka Trump to use the words, I don't recall as many times as she could open her mouth and in fact that's what happened so no surprises there all right shall we get on with the game of sudoku because that's probably why you're here uh or maybe you just strolled onto this channel by accident you were out wandering around the forest of youtube and you clicked on a video and went oh, i wonder what this is if you did welcome uh, it's my chat and sudoku uh, daily sudoku puzzle um this one as supplied by The Guardian. Uh, right, we have eights blocking up here like this. Of course, I'm not going to explain the rules. If you are new to Sudoku, you've just wandered here by accident. Go to an easy level game to find out how to play the game, first of all. We've got eights blocking across here like this. And we've got eight down there, <clears throat> like so. We've got eights down here, eights here. And that will give me an eight there. Then we've got eights across here and eights down here, which will give me an eight there. And that made light work of the eights. In fact, that's given me time to have a mouthful of coffee. Hold on. Oh dear, banging the cup down, sorry. I, I wasn't actually banging it, it just sounded louder than it actually was. Uh, right, now that the eights are out of the way, uh, what next? Well, we've got four blocking down here like this and a four across there. So let's say we should put the four there. We have sixes blocking this square and this square. So in this column, let's put a six up there, shall we? We have five blocking up here and five blocking across there. So there's a five we can place. We have sixes along the bottom here, like so. That will put six down there. We have seven blocking across here, which will put seven into one of these two squares, which will block back in this direction. The seven blocking down here, 
will give me a 7 just so more coffee I think trying to put the cup down as quiet as I can but I have a glass desk the desk is it's made of glass uh, this office um, desk I've had it for years and years I think 15 20 years maybe I've had this desk it's lasted quite well it looked very smart it was quite expensive when I bought it it's steel and glass um, but it is noisy if I ever <laughs> have to put anything down on it that's quite solid <clears throat> We have 4 and 1 in these squares here. I don't know if that's going to help me, but I did notice it. Uh, because we've got the 1 blocking down here, so that puts 1s there. We've got 4s blocking like this, so we've got 4s up there. So I do know this is a pair of 4 and 1. Shall we investigate what else we need? 4 and 1, so we need 2, 3. So immediately we can see that the 3 goes there. And this will be 2 and 9. Uh, any help on 2 or 9? Uh, not yet. Ah, uh, so this is two, isn't it, in one of these squares here? So let's investigate the twos by taking them up here, two across here, two across there. So in fact, we can place a two in that square. And now we have two blocking down here, which means that this will be a two. Our three blocks across here, giving us three in that square, nine in that square. And if I'm right, we have three blocking the three blocking this square, three blocking this square and this square, and three blocking this square. Yes, I was right. We've got a three in that square for this column. Let's have a little wander around then, see if we can find any easy digits like this. Oh wait, before I do that, what's missing from up here? Uh, if I, I can get this, can't I? Because I, I already worked out this was 1 and 4, so I just realized I can get this digit here. This is 1 and 4, so this has to be 3, doesn't it? Oops, almost wasted some time there, 3 across. But of course, the whole game is about wasting time. So I don't know why, why worry why people worry about playing the game very quickly. I mean, the point is to waste your time. That's the whole point of the game, isn't it? It's called a pastime, right? <laughs> something to pass the time while you're at an airport or something like that. Or possibly in a meeting that you don't want to be in. <clears throat> uh, so what is missing up here? Uh, we're looking for one and we're looking for uh, seven. This is one and seven. Talking about sevens, we have seven across here and up there. 
So that will be our 7. So this can't be 7. That must be 7. This will be our 1. Uh, we have 5 and 6 blocking up here like this, so these two squares must be 5 or 6. That means that because we've got the 6 blocking across here, this will be a 6. And now we have the 5s blocking across here like this, this will be a 5. And the last number to place here will be a 4, and the 4 blocking across like so means that that's a 4 up there. Uh, missing numbers here are 1 and 9, and so this uh, will be a 5. 5's uh, up here and up here mean that that is a 5. I, I think that, I think I said 5 and 6 up there. I didn't even notice there was a 5 there before, but it doesn't matter, does it? The 6 blocks up here, there's the 6. The one blocks across here, here's the one, and the missing number here is a nine. Uh, a nine, okay, yeah. There's one empty square, let's fill it with a two. Two blocks this square here, we needed two in this column, I remember. We also needed a nine in that column, so let's add that. Now the nine blocks across here, giving us... 9 in that square, 9 up here, 9 across there, there's our 9. Uh, missing numbers down here are 1 and 4. Any 1s or 4s up there? No, but we have the 4 blocking here. So we know that is going to be the 4, and that's going to be the 1, and that will be the 1 there. Uh, missing numbers here now, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, there we go, 4s across here. There's our 4, there's our 2 blocking there, and that will be our 6. 6 blocking across here and across here, there's our final digit 6. One number to get here. Uh, what are you? You are 2, I think, and the 2 blocking down like so and across there. Means we finish off the 2s. I'm going to have end of my coffee. Before it gets too cold. And uh, almost done. What's left to be done here? This is what one and four. Okay, can't get that. Uh, let's see. Um, what do we still need to get? Ones. Uh, we still need fours. We still need fives. There we go. Fives down there and across there. That will give us the five in that square. We still need 7 across here and 7 down there. That will put 7 into that square, 7 up here. There is the 7 that we need. Uh, and this will be a 9, I think. And 9 blocking up here gives us 9 in that square. 9 down here and across there gives us 9 here. This will be a 4. 4 blocks across here. That puts the 4 in that square. Here's a 1. There's a 1 everywhere a one a win for all uh that's the guardian hard level puzzle over for a thursday i'll be back later in the day uh with uh, i have a less hectic personal schedule today so i'll be back with some more sudoku uh, when i get the time bye bye